What are you doing? This is my brand new Ortur Laser Engraver 3. I told you about this. Remember that company, Sinise? They sent it over to me. I thought that you were a real woodworker. I am? Well, you're not doing nothing. You're just letting the computer beep bop, beep, 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 boop, beep, boop, boop, and do all the work. I think you're always letting something do the work. Not woodworking. Wait a second, wait a second. What's that? You know what this is, my table saw. Using a table saw is not woodworking. Come on, man, you know the table saw is the center of a woodworking shop. But you're not woodworking. You're letting the table saw do all the work. All you're doing is pushing the wood through. Wow, I never thought of it that way. Well, what about this handsaw? I mean, this is really connecting with the art of woodworking, the soul, so to speak. But the saw has the sharp teeth that cut the wood. All you're doing is pushing it forward and bringing it back, and pushing it forward and bringing it back. Uh-huh. Well, I'll just use this hand plane, because nobody can deny that hand tools is where it all started. This is the definition of woodworking. But the plane has a sharp blade, and that's what's cutting the wood. All you're doing is pushing it forward bringing it back and pushing it forward and bringing it back. I gotta be honest, you're kind of blowing my mind right now. Are you saying what I'm thinking you're saying? Yes, probably. All I was trying to illustrate is so that woodworking ain't real. Uh, no, that's not even. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. Are you saying that I'm a carpenter? No. Why is that upsetting? Oh, no, 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 please tell me it's not true. Please, please tell me it's not true. I'm just saying that if you work with wood, you're a woodworker. It doesn't matter if you use a CNC or a laser engraver or a table saw or a hand plane. All of those are just tools you use to woodwork. I'm not sure what you just said, but give it to me straight. Am I a woodworker or Carpenter, you're building a project out of wood. You're working with wood. You're a woodworker. Oh, thank goodness. You, you dog, don't you? Oh, I felt like I was having a grand mal seizure, the shingles and lupus all at the same time. Don't you do that to me again. Oh, thank you, Lord, my word. Okay. I've been researching and using this laser for about a week and creating a few projects with it. Now, a week ago, I didn't know anything about lasers and I have nothing to compare this one to, so keep that in mind. And let me know down in the comments if you've ever used a laser and whether you think it has any business in a woodworking shop. Overall, this was really fun and enjoyable and this is a solid machine. I don't have anything to really compare it to, but I didn't have any issues with it. It was easy to put together and it was smooth and stable, so I'm not sure what else I could ask for. This is a diode laser that focuses the diode beams with mirrors and lenses to a fine point. And the laser has to be focused at a specific distance from the material. And the Laser Master 3 includes this very handy kickstand that sets the distance. Diode lasers are the weakest of the most common types of lasers that are on the market, but they're still perfectly fine for a hobbyist. In fact, a hobbyist probably would prefer a diode laser like this, or even a small business owner wanting to create some precise projects or engrave most materials. And the resolution is honestly really impressive. I still marvel at the ability of this thing to carve in such tight spaces. Diodes are also the most affordable and they're more accessible to the hobby market. You can get this 10 watt laser with a 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter cutting capacity for around 600 bucks, depending on whether you catch it at the right time. I didn't have any trouble with what I was trying to do with this laser. It easily engraved these coated tumblers at about 50% power, and it cut through eighth inch balsa wood in one pass at about 50% power. A laser like this is great to start out with, to prototype some ideas, develop some products, but eventually if you wanna go into significant production, you'll have to upgrade to a CO2, and they operate quite a bit differently. So with all of that said, does a woodworker need a laser? And if not, can they find enough use for one to justify the purchase? The answer to the first question is obvious. No, you don't need a laser. But the answer to the second question is a bit more nuanced. Other than engraving, it seems to me like the laser's best work is done as a small project tool. If you've ever seen the different products on the market that you can buy, they're put together with thin balsa wood with tabs and slots and you have to build them yourself. Those are cut out on a laser. I've seen marble climbers and musical instruments, ships and cars. 
There are an infinite number of ideas that can be realized if you can just create the design with the correct dimensions. You can also cut and engrave many different materials, and this is what tends to put the laser into more of a general maker category, similar to like a 3D printer. But to me, the biggest advantage that a laser gives to a more traditional woodworker that's building furniture and cutting boards and jewelry boxes, things like that, is custom engraving and cutting out letters. From now on, I can customize every cutting board that I ever make. I can put my logo into the apron of a table that I make. I can put a family's name into one of the planks in a tabletop before I glue it up, then fill it with dark epoxy, and then sand it flush. I can also create signs by cutting out any style of letter that I want and then building a wooden background. A laser is essentially an automated scroll saw and carving chisel to a woodworker. Maybe you see that as a bad thing, that's completely up to you, but I don't see it any differently than using a table saw instead of a hand saw, or a thickness planer instead of a hand plane. If you enjoy hand carving, or hand planing, or hand sawing, then go for it. There's joy to be found there. But if you mainly find joy in the end product and doing it quickly and efficiently, or if you don't have time to learn how to properly use hand tools, machines can be very helpful and efficient. Here are the three projects that I whipped up really without much thought over the last few days. There was a learning curve to get the proper settings for a solid burn, but once I got past that, everything else was pretty straightforward. I use the software called Lightburn. Right now it's 60 bucks for the license, but they allow you to use it for free for 30 days. If you've got a Mac, this is pretty much the option you should go with. If you've got a Windows machine, you could also use the free Laser GRBL software. The first project was these tumblers. It was pretty easy to put a design together and the quality of these engravings is pretty amazing. Not only is this laser plenty powerful enough for this, but I had to turn the power way down. In the beginning I was going way too hot and it charred the metal a little bit. You can see this one is much shinier but I went a little too fast. And then these are a little darker because I went slower and they got hotter. Next was an idea I saw somewhere online. I took some images off the internet, outlined them, and then let Lightburn trace them. And then I welded the image to the side so that it would be one piece, and then cut them out of eighth inch balsa wood. They turned out pretty good, but probably need more wood surface so they aren't so flimsy. And I would also probably use at least quarter inch thick wood next time. Last is this sign that I made from walnut and the letters are cut out from that same balsa wood. There's a great opportunity to create custom signs with this laser. I took a basic piece of walnut because I was running out of time, but I've seen some very creative backgrounds online and then cutting accurate letters and designs with the laser makes it customizable and professional. Let me know down in the comments whether you think a laser should become a common tool in a woodworking shop, or whether it should be just a hobby more for general makers. Check out one of these videos next, and I'll see you over there.